Hey, this is Chris from Cinti Studios. Since our last Blender tutorial where we modified a door, we've asked for your feedback on some of the things you want to see, and one of the suggestions we had we're going to look at today, taking a power cable from the Polygon Office Pack and cutting it in Blender. So I'll open up Blender, and we'll go File, Import, FBX, and then in our Models folder we'll look for the model that we want to modify. In this case it's our Prop Chord 01. And we'll set up the material for our model, so we'll go to Shading, make sure our model is selected. Once we've decided where we want to make the cut, in this case, we'll go to this edge loop here. We'll go Edit Mode, Edge Select, we'll zoom in on the edge. Holding Alt, select one edge, and you can see it's selected the entire edge loop. Pressing V on the keyboard to cut. Now if we want to move it across without moving it up and down, so if we hold Shift and Z, this will stop us from moving it up and down, but we can freely move it around. Now as we have a nice square here, we can just cap the edges. So to do that, we'll select one edge and press F on the keyboard to fill. And the same on this side, F to fill. Now we'll want some nice crisp lines here, so we just need to make these edges sharp. So to do that, if we select the edge, hold Shift, Make sure we have them all selected. And if we go to Edge, Mark Sharp. So this next part's completely optional. If you want to be able to move these two separate parts of the model independently in Unity, then you're going to want to separate them in Blender first. So we'll just get everything selected on the shorter end. So hover over, hit L on the keyboard, and we'll just go through and make sure everything is selected. Then pressing P on your keyboard and separate by selection. Then we'll just rename this one. We'll leave the pivot points as they are, but if you are wanting to change them, you can check out this video here. Then the last thing we we'll want to do here is just parent this new end of the power cable to the rest of the power cable. So to do that, if we go into object mode, we'll select the shorter end first, then the larger one, then we'll hit Control P on the keyboard, and we'll keep the transform. We'll send this back over to Unity, so File, Export, FBX. Into our Models folder, we'll select the file, Export. Now in Unity we can see we have our power cable here with the end missing. So in our Models folder we'll look for the model, we'll drag it in. We can see this one here has the extra mesh. And we'll select those. And we'll apply our material. Then we'll find our prefab, and we'll drag our new prefab in and just override it. Then we selected the edge loops and just modified the general look of the power cable for this second one. So as you can see here, the same process we used to separate these two parts of the power cable, we can do the same thing with any model that we want to cut apart. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there's anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.